Hansi, I want you to remember that this is not a court case, but you are under oath to tell the truth. Now, I know that you profess to be a Christian. May I remind you of what Jesus said in the Gospel of John? And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Are you ready to give your statement? Words cannot describe the shame and the guilt that I feel. I would like to start by apologizing to the South African public, the cricket authorities, my teammates, and my family. There's no excuse for my bad conduct, and I hope that you can forgive me. I'll never play cricket again, but I hope that my confession will expose the problems with gambling and cricket that have been kept in the dark for too long. Throughout my life, I've had a love for money, and I, I think that this contributed to a large degree in my downfall. Satan tempted me, and I fell for his guile. The South African team has heard rumors of match fixing by bookmakers, but before 1996, no South African was contacted in this regard. to protect those players whom I had compromised. I found myself torn between conflicting emotions and responsibilities. I must, however, acknowledge that I was also motivated by a measure of self-interest. Thank you, Mr. Cronier. Mr. Cronier, have you ever placed bets on sport? My brother Franz and I once placed a 10 rand bet on a boxing match between. Mr. Cronier, have you or have you not lost matches in return for money? Yes, I made wrong decisions. And yes, I took money from bookmakers. And yes, I spoke to the players before the 96 match. But I promise you, every time I walked into that field, I played my best for my country. And I never threw one single match. Thank you, Mr. Cronier. That will be all. It's over. Mm -hmm. 